In the previous lessons, we qualitatively and quantitatively describe how forces affect the motion of an object. With this, however, we are left with the question, where do these forces come from? Based on our examples, we can observe that force is always applied on an object by another object. For instance, a person moving a box, or perhaps a hammer pushing a nail. But how do these objects interact with another through forces? In this video, you will state the Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion explains how objects interact with each other in terms of forces. It states that, when an object exerts a force on the second object, the second object exerts an equal amount of force in the opposite direction on the first object. Newton's third law is often paraphrased as, for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. Hence, this law is also known as the law of interaction. When a force acts upon an object, another force with an equal magnitude but in opposite direction reacts. Thus, the law of interaction tells us that forces always come in pairs. This pair of forces that acts and reacts are also referred to as action and reaction forces. It is important, however, to note that these forces act at the same time. That is, the reaction force does not wait until the action force is exerted. For example, when you push a box across the floor, the box pushes you back simultaneously. As evidence for this, your hand is distorted as you are pushing the box. This is a clear proof that the box is exerting a force on you as you are exerting the force on the box. Let us consider a book resting on the table. Due to its weight, the book exerts a force on the table. In return, the table reacts by applying a force on the book that is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Note however that the action and reaction forces do not cancel each other out. These forces are exerted on different objects. In the previous lesson, we identified the forces that are exerted on the book. In this example, we identified the force exerted by the book and the force exerted on it. Let's talk about the properties of action-reaction forces. First, forces always come in pair. One is action and the other one is reaction. This tandem makes up the interaction. Second, forces act on two different bodies. Third, action-reaction forces are equal in magnitude but act in the opposite direction. And lastly, action-reaction forces always act in the same line of action. Let us now try to identify the action and reaction forces in a pencil lying at rest on the desk. We can say that the action force is the force exerted by the pencil on your desk, and the reaction force is the force exerted by the desk to your pencil. Now it's your turn. Try to identify the action-reaction force when using a hammer in pounding a nail on a broken furniture. You may pause this video and write your answer in the comment section. Here's the answer. Action force is the force exerted by the hammer on the nail. In return, nail also exerts force on the hammer. But take note, your hand also exerts a force on the hammer. In the same manner, the hammer also exerts the same amount of force to your hand. How did you do? make sure to comment it down below. If you like more of science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.